Hey everybody, this is the Esoteric Cross. I make videos about how to gain your personal power while learning ancient secrets. If that sounds like something that you're into, hit the like button and subscribe and gain insight from this perspective in the cosmos. Today's video is going to be about energy and how we can use our energy. I'm going to lay out exactly what energy is and what light working is and how to make an energy ball. Energy is the capacity for doing work. It may exist in potential, kinetic, thermal, electrical, chemical, nuclear, or other forms. In physics, energy is the quantitative property that is transferred to a body or to a physical system, recognizable in the performance of work and in the form of heat and light. Energy is a conserved quantity. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can be converted in form, but not created or destroyed. Energy being the capacity to do work is the reason we get out of bed. It is the reason that we can brush our teeth. It is the reason that we have thoughts. All of these things are work. Life is work, movement, change, progression and regression. When the body dies, this is suggesting that our energy does not dissipate. It quite possibly dissolves like salt when we put into water, and becomes one with the water. Maybe the energy is then realized in another form or state. Maybe the energy is realized for what it really is. Maybe the energy has no perception and maybe little consciousness until it takes a form with a physical body. Maybe it is the other way around. We really don't know. There is evidence that suggests that we live in a sort of a hologram universe. To get personal, this is more along my belief. That consciousness is energy. God or life source is consciousness. Thinking, contemplating and quite frankly, wants to get to know itself. And this is why the universe exists, as it is a way for this consciousness to manifest itself. The three-dimensional world is where everything is happening, and it is where source energy can come in and experience and learn about other aspects of itself and integrate them. I believe the main purpose of this universe and life in general is about integration. I'm going to get a little deeper here about what I mean by that in another video, where I will talk about how consciousness splits and how we can integrate. The bottom line here is that we are all the same consciousness trying to integrate. With that being said, we can tap into energies and dimensions that are far beyond our current perception, and we can also use our consciousness to create our reality. In fact, you had been doing that your entire life. Thoughts plus our feelings equal our actions. This energy flows through us and is always there for our use, but most people don't know how to use it or that they even have it. Let's talk about how we can use this energy. Visualization is a powerful tool to use this energy. The easiest way is to visualize this energy as light, because consciousness is light. This is why we connect the light bulb with thinking. This is why in cartoons and in shows, they show magic as this light energy. This is what true magic is. It is working with light energy, consciousness, and manipulating it. Now let's talk about chi. Chi is the life force energy or vital energy. This is something that has been in many Asian belief systems for over 6,000 years. Qi is this life energy that we come into the world with, and it is developed by the air we breathe, the food we eat, and then the water we drink. It is important to note that we should be getting great air quality, eating healthy food, and drinking water, but I actually believe this goes a bit deeper than that. I had been doing energy work for a little while now, and it has completely changed my life. I had found that not only is it about the food we eat, the water, or the air quality, it's about what we do with it all. It's about feeding your mind healthy thoughts, 
and watering your mind garden and breathing with intention. Breath work is all about energy. I'm going to say that again. Breath work is all about energy. The whole reason that we breathe is to convert energy in our body. When I do rituals, I breathe in and visualize light all around me. This is the chi energy. And I breathe in the light. A grounding exercise would be breathing in the light and breathing out the black smoke. I honestly believe this is a subconscious reason that many people smoke because it is grounding and practicing mindfulness. Though I'm not advocating smoking, I think it is dangerous. We want to visualize breathing in light and then the dark smoke leaving our body in some way. We have meridians along our body that this energy travels through. We have important centers where the energy travels at different speeds throughout our body. The chakra system is a part of this energy system. We also have meridians in our arms and legs and chakras in the palms of our hands. Do you ever wonder why we hold someone's hand? We are experiencing true energetic connection and we are sharing our energy. This is what we do during sex because our genitals are a part of these vortices full of energy. And this is the life-producing form of energy. This is why we can manifest very powerful things by having sex or masturbation. It is an act that produces life. You can use that to your advantage. This light energy is throughout our whole body and can be used in many different ways. We can breathe in this light energy and localize it to heal wounds, pain, tension, and other things. We can breathe this light energy in and charge it with our heart energy with an intention and lead it through our hands into our food, our water, and effectively charging it. We can do this with crystals, talismans, sigils, altars, and people. Never under any circumstances try to draw out energy from other people. It will not work in your favor, and it is manipulative, and it is a form of energetic thievery. Using light energy to heal and uplift is the best way to use this energy. My videos are here for that reason, and that reason only. You can see what I'm talking about with the palms of your hands. This is how to make an energy ball. So I want to show you right now how you can feel this energy. Take your hands and form them like you are holding a ball. If you slowly bring your hands a bit closer together, you can feel the energy of them like the palms are putting out this magnetic field. Believe it or not, they certainly do, and the thoughts, feelings, and actions you have do have an effect on other people in the room, even if you don't say anything. Like when you walk into a store and you can tell that all the cashiers are having tension with each other. Anyways, you want to start rubbing your hands together, and this is going to build up the energy. What you're going to do is picture a golden sphere of energy in your chest, and you want to breathe in bright white chi energy from all around you into this golden sphere in the center of your chest. Charge it with an intention in this golden sphere. Release that energy from the sphere and let it flow down the meridians in your arms and flow out through the palms of your hands. Now you can move your hands back apart and form this ball. Now I know you can feel this energy. As you move your hands apart, you can feel this energy become less dense and then more dense as you move them back together. As long as it is positive, helpful energy with a good intention, then you can either collapse the energy back into your palms and send it back to your heart center to benefit you, or you can send it out to someone or the universe. We have so much more power than we have led ourselves to believe. We can harness energy and manipulate it in ways that require no equipment, no tools, nothing but the consciousness that you are. Remember, if you have consciousness, you have the universe. You have the world. I hope there was something new that you were able to take away from this video. If so, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.